Professor Klaus Scherer, member of the Nobel Committee. We have just heard that this, year's, um, this year you are awarding the discovery of uh, checkpoint um, inhibitors. Could you please explain what this is? Well, first of all, this is a treatment against cancer. And it's a new principle for treatment because unlike previous treatments where you target the cancer cell, this treatment targets the host's immune system, the patient's immune system. And it does so by releasing or blocking the brakes of the immune system. And when you release the brakes, things go faster and uh, we have a more strong response against the patient's cancer cells. At least one of the laureate's names, uh, James Ellison, he has been mentioned uh, for a, quite a while. How come this, you are awarded uh, the prize this year? Why now? Uh, time is ripe. Uh, the first uh, approved drug uh, based on this treatment came in 2011 and patients have been treated uh, for several years now and we can see the out long-term outcome and it's very convincing and uh, we consider it really a big step in the fight against cancer. Um, it was quite complicated, different cells and different receptors, but in order to describe this prize in an accessible way, what kind of metaphor would you use? I would like to use uh, the brake metaphor, the brake pedal that you have on a car for example where uh, you can uh, step on it and everything stops and uh, you can uh, release it and you get things going. That, that's the best uh, metaphor. Um, this is a new kind of cancer treatment. What cancer patients can be treated using this method? Are there any limits? The, the most dramatic responses are seen with a particular type of skin cancer, malignant melanoma. And I'm sure most viewers know what this is. It's a pigmented cancer on the skin. Uh, other cancers that respond at least to PD-1 treatment are lung cancer and kidney cancer and lymphoma and many other cancers actually also. So it will be very exciting to see in the future exactly how, broad, how broadly this can be applied. Uh, personally, uh, what makes you enthusiastic by this prize? Uh, I myself am an immunologist and I have actually worked in tumor immunology for many, many years and uh, there has been a lot of uh, interesting new discoveries in tumor immunology uh, where we revealed basic mechanisms, but they were never sufficient to be able to cure cancer in patients. They were sufficient to cure cancer in mice, which is somewhat easier, and uh, all the other previous attempts to use the immune system, such as vaccination or uh, giving uh, cells. Uh, they worked in some patients, but you could never generalize it to many patients. And this is what is different about this one. And it makes a big difference for certain patients. Some patients survive and are cured, and some patients get four years rather than one year, and that is quite important. Now, if we turn to the laureates, um, James Ellison and Tazuko Honju, uh, who are they? Uh, I have met them, but I don't know either of them very well. But uh, Professor Allison is a basic immunologist. He's not trained in medicine, but in biology from the beginning. Uh, and he became interested already when he was a small boy, and his father gave him a chemistry kit. Uh, and he has uh, had a splendid career in basic immunology. He made many important discoveries before this one and he has been in many different centers in the United States. Berkeley was mentioned here, but he has also been at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York and in uh, MD Anderson uh, in Texas, where he is now. I'm also told that he plays the harmonica in a blues band called the Checkmates. Uh, Professor Honio is also a very distinguished uh, basic immunologist. He's actually an MD, uh, so he has medicine training. But he has also contributed very important discoveries in basic immunology before this one. And he was not in cancer immunology from the beginning, similar to Jim Allison, who also was not in cancer immunology. But these basic scientists made their discoveries and persistently followed them through and developed these fantastic uh, treatments then. I'm not sure whether uh, Professor Honio plays any instrument, but I know that he plays golf and is very interested in art. 
when they were doing this discovery? Were they looking for this or was it a surprise for them when they found it? Uh, uh, for uh, Professor Allison, I think he was working with the basic regulation of the immune system, like many others. Uh, and he did not discover the molecule that he uh, was working on, but he realized its potential. So he rapidly tested an idea that nobody else tested. I don't know how expected it was for him to get into cancer, but he did. Professor Honey, I'm sure, uh, uh, he did not think of cancer at all in the beginning. When he looked and found his molecules, he was doing completely different things and actually probably had ideas that it, it was doing something completely different. But uh, as he went on and he gradually revealed how this molecule worked, he understood with inspiration from Madison how this one could add and uh, even become even more efficient. And finally, uh, if you were to do an elevator pitch, um, on this prize, with the goal to simply convey the overall concept in an exciting way. What would you say then? Uh, these scientists have discovered how you can uh, block the brakes of the immune system so that it goes much faster and acts in a much more intensive way and thus can attack cancer cells so we can cure cancer with it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.